Welcome to Minecraft Descent into Pacifism, a Minecraft Bliss mod pack long play. In this series, we have two rules no killing and no stealing. And in this mod pack, we get to do just that. This idea was inspired when I realized that almost all popularized Minecraft videos online centered around killing and trapping people and monsters. This is not that. There are plenty of videos out there which you can find that focus on those concepts, and I don't fault you if you want to go watch them. This series has been a major challenge, and I invite you all to join me as I descend into pacifism. Hey everyone, welcome back. And wow, I forgot how awesome that was. All right, all right. So we have uh, our blacksmith here, which seems to still be going. I mean, I didn't expect it anything else because it stops moving while we're not there. But all right. So we said the next big thing that we're gonna do is finish this bridge over there. Um, so let me get these uh, so fast with efficiency. Right. So step one there. Step two. It's, uh, I don't want to waste those stairs. They're actually pretty nice. Uh, so here's the other thing, right? So it's it's like that. If I just uh, if we continue, I can remove that and move it to the end, and then it looks like it's all brick for the most part. Basically, be mimicking exactly what's on this side. Again, if that makes sense. So, like for instance, a staircase, bring these down. So, like you'd have a staircase right here. So, a staircase right there. Same on this side, right? You can line that out. Actually, on this side, it should be easier because it's just. It should just be there. Okay, we can do that. You're not going to see that. You're going to see only that little up, so... You will see... That, so... You'll see that one, you'll see that one. So now... Gotta make a whole bunch of stone bricks. Of all things. Oh, it looks so nice. It just kind of blends in. Nice little strip there, which... I wonder I made that, now that I think about it. Like, this would be really nice over there. Can I use... Can I use this thing? Yes, I can. Right? And I think if I put enough of these down, it'll change the color of it. Because... That, oh, it just turns to dirt. All right, well, that's not a problem. So I have these 11, right? It's a leaf pile. Oops. I'll see if that changes it. If it does, then awesome. If not, we just make ourselves a nice little, like, flowered front. It's okay. Um, okay. Now, I'll let those burn out. It's fine. Uh, I need stone. And I also need to set up a uh, crafting table. Um, I'll put a crafting table in between the two chests. So, crafting table there, two chests here. So... One of these I had a second crafting table. There we go. And I will block for, for planks to make the other side. And also, do I want oak logs? No, but I have birch, and I think birch will do it too. Alright, so when you get over here, you leave it from the weak. I think it's right over here where you need to be. Yeah. So, 50 may be too much. How about 40? 40 should be good. So that's fine. We'll come back to that. Start off with that. 
make that times two. There we go. Now we have two of them here, which is really nice. And we also have that, which will help us with this. Wait, what am I doing? I have a stone cutter. I need those. Awesome. And I can make them awesome when it's easy. Alright, so, bam. Bam, 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 bam. So, what? I guess the trick here is I need <laughs> to grab a bunch of uh, dirt real quick. And considering I have an entire little thing that I've got to get rid of, this is why I'm just going to grab it when I need it. Alright. So that will not be seen because it will be covered up by the air. Right, so that will be seen. And that will be right here. So with that, it looks like one more, one more, So at this point, I just need the stairs there, which isn't going to happen because there's no point in having stairs, so just that. That is that. This will all be dirt because it's all going to be covered up. And then. I'm putting, uh, putting this here, but. I'm gonna just sporadically moss it. And crack it. So I need to make four chisel or two chisel stones to put on the end there. How far apart is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm eight spots apart, but I can make two more chisels. Okay, I've got this. Um, I think I can do it with just these two. Yeah, I can. Perfect. And it just has to be so one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like we're doing this one. It's uh right there. That's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So it just needs fencing in between, which I can use the fencing or use oak fencing, but I don't need just the oak fencing. Oak fence won't be a little harder to get. That's fine. I can always go over to the other, uh, the other bridge and grab it. So now. The other part of this is intermixing. Oh, what is this? I don't think that would be seen, but it is. There we go. I will crack random ones.
this works. I think that should be enough. Alright. I think I have one diamond left, but it's not quite what I need. This back up. Alright, time to make some shovels. I don't that apple came Oh, it came from the tree. Are we on uh, these? Doing fine. Still no tree on that, so that's fine. Alright. I'm gonna move this back four. I'm gonna have a lot of dirt. <laughs> and then after four, it's going up our room. I should, uh, I think I'm going to invest in getting some uh, enchantments on this. I feel like some enchantments might help with, uh, with this, but I'll get it with a diamond shuttle. So. Who here thought that I was going to get a diamond shovel first? <laughs> Up there. Uh, all my lapis is back at the enchanting room. Fair enough. Hi, Papa Lou. Alright. So I got that. I need sticks. I still have my paraglider. And time to go up. To the Golden Apple Gorge. Um, you know, part of me wants to actually just take everything that I've done over here and move it over there as well. And the thought process being that, like, instead of having to go back and forth, I'll have one space. But I kind of like the like the like the way it looks over here was so nice. Just, but you know, that is just beautiful. Like there's no there's no reason to I I like this better. So I will keep it like this. Just to you know, you go through here and you see you see just opening up into a giant canyon and going on either side and then you just have your little lone house. It's nice and relaxing.
you know? Since I have room from here, I will also get a, uh... Oh, I have to make it. I haven't made the shovel yet. Easy enough. Here it is, guys. Diamond shovel. That's it. Fortune one? <laughs> oh my gosh. Of course I get fortune on this one. Uh unbreaking. Definitely gonna get that. Actually, before I put it in, let's see. Alright, some more unbreaking. So we get fortune two. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Um can I rotate this? I remember doing something about rotating. Ah, uh, right clicking rotates it. Can I look at that? Efficiency. And I, I need six levels. I can, I can look at this. So efficiency one, fortune two, I'm breaking two. It's a start. Um, need more levels, but like I said, it's a start. And if I get mending on that eventually, <laughs> that's where fishing is going to come in. I think one of these chests I put my fishing rod in. I really should start using it. Actually, you know what? What am I doing? it all back out. I'm just gonna bring that with me. I will fish over there while I uh, while everything grows and I'll harvest some crops. That might be one of those ones that I do off camera though. Like I don't wanna I don't wanna bore you with like an hour or two of fishing, you know. So for now, what's my fishing rod have? Luck of the sea three and more too. That's really good. And since I'm right over here, anything else over here that I need to grab? Um, I'll grab the clay. I only need the iron shovel. Uh, I'll grab that only because I can put it, uh, my stuff in. That way there's gonna be, well actually I don't even need that because I can make leather so easily now. Uh, those. That's all the stuff I need. So actually what I'm going to do fill the top of that. I'm going to take all of this. I'm going to drop those two. Might as well pick up the rest of this. This stuff can go away. This is just a mine now, not a I'll leave that there. I think if I want to do a mine, I can do a mining trip. I need that. Sadly, the glowberries are not growing. Can I it's not getting me anything? Not worried. That's gonna be one of those ones where. I feel like there's more to it. All right. Hello, cow and fox. Oh, I just... 
realize that was offset for you guys. I'm sorry. There we go. Just the... I really like what they did with this. Like, the caves and things just update that I really appreciate it. And I think Minecraft needed it. I really do. Like the uh just the idea that you know just, you have mountains. Like don't get me wrong, I, I did like the look of Minecraft before, but this just it makes it more fun to explore. Alright, and we'll hang through. Really coming together, guys. Probably squish off the side of that. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up right here the chest. I'll use that chest. And, you know, starting off I'll just put some random stuff in here. This is where I'm going to put all the dirt. So I'll use up all of the uh, iron shovels and then I'll use my diamond one. Let's see how this goes. Oh wait, oh, no, I'm gonna start. We're on the one level up now because it's been four back. If you're wondering, I am going to go up maybe three or four. I'm not actually gonna go up much further than that. I want this to be more gentle. It could drop off around the edge, but I want to get up to the we're going to pull back, it's too much. So. I'll do that for now. One down. So really I need to care about right here. And one up. Two red. The rest of this will just be gentle sloping away from if I do my math correctly. At least I have the iron, like this would go so slow with wood. Just like that. It's so awesome. It's, it's gonna go so much quicker with uh diamonds. So this is one step, two step, this will be the last step up. Everything above this is gonna be destroyed across the island. <laughs> At least it's gonna be a lot.
I'm not a lie, but that's okay. I'll probably need to terraform them later. I mean, if you think about it, this is a ton of dirt. Just one. Right. Let's see, this is the kind of stuff I would need the dirt for. I'll go right up to it, but... start make it back to the hill. Okay good. It does look like it actually let me uh so right here. Let's look at my my little path around this hill. Down another one. Okay perfect. So everything on this side, this is the capped out level. This is gonna be a lot of fun. So right now, 372. I don't know. Perfect. Ah. So now it's time to fill in the hole. So the question may come up, what, what type of farm am I intending to make here? And it's actually going to be, this is where I'm going to put my, uh, like, yes, I had farming over there, but, but like the farming over there is actually going to be for looks only. <laughs> this is going to be where I'm going to put functional farms. And, oops, for functionality, like we're talking like, it's honestly corn is a really good one. I'll try to make it look good, but I also want it to be like why I'm making this a very flat space is I want it to be as efficient as possible. Maybe even have some villagers over here eventually that are going through and just bear, you know, just like picking the stuff and putting them in composters and whatnot. Uh, Not necessarily like farm or anything, but just like I'm not not like a auto village farm or anything like that, but just it'd be nice to have uh is this yeah this is the right level. Awesome. It'd be nice to have some even because I'm never gonna actually use all of it. <laughs> but it's also possible to have some of it be automated, even if it very efficiently. Um working out well. Far as which crops, I mean, all right, now on the actual hole. Oh. It is quicker. I mean, this is a lot of progress already. but I'm breaking this should last a lot longer. Oh, 
one. I'll look at certain crops and see what uh, type of dishes I can make. Because uh, that's going to dictate which uh, crops I do. Like, obviously the cooked corn is really good, but it looks like some of those dishes also have special effects. Like night vision and things like that. So I want to see what they can do. And that'll help beef me up for exploring more difficult areas. I think one of them gives me just speed. Oh yeah. Diamond shovel is the way to go. Speaking of food. That cooked corn is awesome. How far does this go this way? Alright. Not so bad. There's like, yeah, lots of, uh, stuff for landscaping. Another question that came up was, what should I build for the, uh, the statue and how should I build it, right? Is it going to be just entirely diamond? Can I do an outline of diamond? And honestly, I want to do the whole thing with diamond. I want to make it diamond block everything. Excuse me. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Stay alone. Uh, it, it's a lot. It won't initially be diamond. I'll probably use a different material first. Maybe copper because I get so much of it. Yes, please. Yes. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, pig. You are a very muddy pig. I get it. Like, I may even start with dirt and just work my way up with, like, stone and stuff like that. But then, what is it going to be? Uh, another thing is I should have a graveyard for any of the uh, mobs that I see die. I kind of like that idea. Um, like a memorial. That yeah, may take me a bit, but we can get there. And I can... At least right now, it's, it's just a few squid and a rabbit and... It's, a llama. Uh, this pig is like, why why are you doing this? Why have you done this to my space? Don't worry, pig, just flatten it out. You can tell me how much you like it afterwards. This is a lot of work, but it's like, it's the kind of work that's fun to watch. You know, I'm sure if I I had that, it was the replay mod, but a pig, pig, pig. Listen, pig, I get, get it. You, you like being part of the work, but I don't want to accidentally hit you. That would be really bad. Like right now, I think if I go to my see the uh, statistics. Oh, see here, animal bred zero. Do we have uh, damage taken ninety two? Um, damage dealt right here zero. Those three right there because I have not actually done much. As far as fighting, and I intend to keep that as low as possible. Um, what else is there in here? Games quit. 23. So I've, I've been in quite a bit. Um, 7,581 jumps. Uh, snick, snuck for almost 10 minutes. Oh, killed the town plague. That's cool. Yeah, by the way, I died once. That's up here. 
Times and sales staff. And zero targets hit. Um, zero raids. No, uh, no kills. Only died once right here. Number of death. One. Uh, mob kills. Zero. We'll come back to that later too. Might as well just kind of go straight through. I guess that's what the pig wanted. He wanted to go. There you go, pig. Pig can come all the way through. You can be happy. There you go. See? See? He can go do his own thing. It's just that little. I need to be one less. So, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually called, doing something called splitting the problem. Uh, so, it's a monumental task to go through and level an entire uh, mountain, right? So what I'm doing is I am leveling down to where I'm going through and I'm uh, cutting the problem into smaller pieces. So in this case, just the space, just the things to the right of this is the next level. Is that the right level? Or did I go up one to do this? I went up one to do it, okay. Easy enough. There we go. Huh. Oh, I see. It is technically up one more. Okay. So now I've cut it there, and now I'm going to start back on the side, because it's actually more fun over here. I'm only going to here. So... The smaller problem is something I can much easier do. Much more easily do. I am. What up with that chest? I'm for my chest. Like uh, one of the reasons why you actually go through and do things in rows like this is it takes that long task and it turns it into something that you can feel accomplished doing. And it's smaller victories, that kind of thing. So now back to what the uh, 
what is that statue going to be of? Right? Is it going to be a... We're going to make it into a mob. It's going to be a statue of me. You know, what, what is it? Right? And honestly, like, that's a hard question. Because it could be any number of things. Um, maybe I'll make it a big statue uh, just because that was that was goal number one, right? Maybe having it be maybe be a diamond block statue of a, of a diamond. Diamond shovel definitely lasts long enough, which is good. Goodness. That whole breaking problem with the smaller pieces is actually a a good tip for a lot of life, right? A lot of times problems can seem insurmountable. You know, you, you look at it and you're like, how am I ever going to get through this? This is so much. You know, you're just like thinking about it. And the more you think about it, the harder the problem becomes. But like, if you, if you just take that problem and stop for a second, you're like, well, what's this? Can I break this problem into smaller problems? Right? What's this? What's the smallest unit I can break this problem into? And then if you just tackle one of those problems, even if it's a small one, right, like almost, almost a meaningless point, you know, one of it, you're still tackling the big problem by, by tackling the small problems, then, right? Just like I've been saying before on this, is it doesn't, you know, it may seem like we're doing a whole bunch of like, you know, just crazy side stuff, but like if you look at it, at the end of the day, we're still develop, you know, we're getting a lot done. Right, this this hill, it's a big pass, right? But that road was a, was a big one too. And to do that, we had to get cobblestone. And cobblestone, even though a lot of people ignore cobblestone, it was important. And now that we have the uh, the blacksmith area to make cobblestone into stone much quicker, you see, like it's all like small pieces of it, just small things. Because that's the kind of mentality I'm trying to dread, dread with this. Is you know. Do the small things, have fun with the small things, and work my way up through the big things using the small things. It's not like uh, Hermitcraft and all of them where they're like, they'll start off with mega builds. Like, mega builds are great. What you don't see is they have, you know, they have a lot of time and experience. There's a lot of back end stuff there where they're, they're going through and they're making these builds in creative or, you know, they just have experience doing it and have all these materials. Well, we don't have the materials. So, gotta get them and also like making mega builds just focuses your entire attention on one thing and well that's not a bad thing it's just you can get burnt out very easily doing something like that and being burnt out is terrible right burning yourself out especially for something like that if you're trying to do it for someone else it's never worth it 
you are much more efficient if you're doing something smaller that you enjoy. And honestly, like, even though people may appreciate what you're doing, they're not going to appreciate when you burn out and do nothing. So even though it was just a small house, I started small. And I liked it. I thought it, thought it came out really nicely. And I learned some techniques doing it. And I'm going to build on it. case having a problem means I can I can say I'm almost done with this part even though I still have all of that to do. I'm almost done with this part. And just to you know you see I, I break it up by just doing things a little differently every once in a while. You watch some of the other thing other YouTubers they do the same thing. We just don't really talk about it much, it's, it's just assumed, right? And it assumes you know, then people jump on here thinking, oh, well, I can get, you know, a million resources in no time at all, but truth is, you can't. It takes time. Those fancy time lapses that they do is not, uh, it doesn't show the real work that's going on. It's there so that you can have a nice, meaningful experience, or a pleasant experience, not meaningful, um, over a short period of time, right? If you are someone who actually managed to, uh, to go through and watch this whole thing, good job. Most people won't, and that's okay. I'm not going to replace that because it actually is eventually going to get line uh, dug up as well. And you can see we're still in a part where like, all that's going to get dug up. This, this seems attainable to me. Like, well, the whole thing does not. But I'm sure if you look at the full time lapse, this looks like a huge amount, right? Or if you look at a difference between where I started and here. Oh, maybe a self touch pickaxe would have been nice because I would have been able to get the. Oh man. I would have been able to get the stone without having to worry about uh, cooking cobblestone. That's fine. I can make the uh, cobblestone generator, which will. Actually, because I can make the cobblestone generator automated, I can also make the, uh, the stone picker automated. Gotta go uh, offload my dirt. That's so much dirt. This is just one section. Well. <laughs> Let's finish up this hole a little bit all at the same time.
almost gone. We have a floating uh, dirt pile. Be careful, that's enough dirt to hurt. I mean, honestly, one square meter or one cubic meter of dirt is more than enough to hurt someone. There's a lot, a lot going on. Yeah, it's pretty fast at least. Oops. Because, yeah, all, all of this will eventually be dirt as well. <laughs> Alright, so this is our platform. Um, it's like I'll at least get this part. Gotta go back here, so... It's raining again, guys. Well, let the rain. I'm trying to keep it from this part. I'm gonna keep it go back. Oops. So I want to move the floor. One, two, three, four. And then we hit that. Honestly. Using this to help shake it a little bit.
This is how I'm gonna level it out of it. So much dirt. I can't do anything about this cliff here, that's fine. Now. Only all of this is gonna be dirt eventually. Let me on time. Oh, actually, almost. We're perfectly at the point where we can uh, call it that. Let's see what else we have to do first, right? So. I mean, there's still a lot here, but the tall part is back over there and like right here. And then it levels off. And then you can see most of this is in a different uh, area. And then I have to uh, even out the front of this. So you can see like right here is where it's going to go. It's not going to be nearly as high up. But, it should be nice. We've already cleared out quite a bit. This is going to be good. Um, I'm going to put a bit of this off here, honestly, because I feel like you guys are just are enjoying it, but I don't want to stretch, stretch it, you know, you guys too far, because that seemed like a lot, but it really didn't take us too far. Um, and as far as how much dirt we have, we're getting, we're getting there with dirt. Um, I'm going to have to set up a second uh, chest right next to it to put more dirt in. I want to set up this uh, primary dirt chest, but either way, we got a lot of dirt. Uh, yeah. That one, so this island over here, I kind of want to leave that one uh, as is. Right? Just have, have fields and stuff, maybe put like a, a big house in the center. Or, that can be where our statue is, right? Because it's a, it's a nice, it's a nice hill. Maybe a house with a statue up front, or a uh, town, you know, a, uh, a park or something. Hello there. Um, yeah, no, all in all, we're doing great, guys. And it's been, it's been awesome here. I think I'm also gonna fish a bit while you guys, you know, aren't watching because, again, that would, uh, that'd be painful. Hey, upside, this is starting to change into that other type of material here. So I think with the feather out here, a nice muddy front, add some rocks on top of it. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining, and, uh, let's see what with, uh, Pepper with. Hi, puppy. Lou. Yep, good puppy. And you guys have a great time.